another beautiful day in the neighborhood out here. Today, I am going to spread stove ash that we've collected on the spring line. I'll spread it actually on the coils of hose that we made. If you watched the video that we did earlier, I'll put the link right there. You can see we, we drained uh, all the water out of the spring line. We coiled the hoses, we marked them with sticks. I've already done a few coils. I'm gonna take this snow machine up here back to where I left off and I'll show you how we do that. So I have this box of ash just back on the back of the snowmobile there and I just take a coffee can The main point is, is to get this dark ash onto the snow. It attracts the heat. It really speeds up the melting process. We will have our hose line ready to go and ready to put the spring up when we still have probably a foot, foot and a half, maybe two foot of snow on the ground. The great thing about the ashes is we're recycling just uh, our, our stove ash, really, instead of just throwing it out, burying it or whatever, we've created a purpose for it. This gets us running water from the spring a lot earlier than otherwise would be possible. So it's great, it's a win-win. On to project number two. What is that, you ask? You're about to find out. This is part of our summer trail system right here. And Zach and I did a little corduroy bridge. You can check that video out here. And we packed a bunch of this little chunks of firewood over to this location to make this little corduroy bridge because it's very swampy right here and people always get their feet wet. We failed to haul this wood out in this manner as you just saw here with a snowmobile and a sled, which it didn't take me two minutes to get here from the lodge so so much easier than canoeing it over and backpacking it anyways i just brought a nice load over i'm gonna stockpile it here once all the snow melts zach and i will come over and extend the corduroy bridge over the marshy area less wet feet more happy hikers it's a good thing and i'm gonna get this unloaded Right. The cabin's a bit of a mess this morning, but I've got one more chore to do, and that is bring some firewood to one of our campsites. Bonnie and Emma are going to come with me, and Emma is just waking up from a nap. Bonnie will carry her on one, and I will haul the wood with the other. So we'll take these two snowmobiles. As you can see, it is a glorious day. I'm just waiting on Bonnie and Emma. They're coming out here shortly. You ready for a ride? Yep. Hi there, babe. All right. Let's saddle up our horses here. This is a load of firewood I'm gonna take out. This is some of our good firewood. It's uh, easier for getting the fire started, and this is just some of the junk firewood, but it, but it burns really well. Let's head out. How'd it go? Good. All right. This is our little campsite here. We call this Hidden Lake. You can't see the lake unless you're right on top of it. It's really pretty, there's ducks in it all the time, a couple beavers. We've got this awesome little rock overhang right above camp. I bring the wood up, stick it under that rock overhang. So that's about it. Sorry I didn't get more video. I had to manage my photos and videos. I'm running out of room on my, my phone here. So anyways, we got the chore done and we're headed back to the lodge. Emma did not sleep 
she stayed awake for the whole ride. I think she likes riding snowmobile. She's a true Alaskan girl. All right, we're out. It never gets old coming over this little rise and seeing our home. Oh, it's such a gorgeous place. Living off grid, it's pretty awesome. And for those of you that don't know, we are remote. We're not just off grid, off power, off sewer, that kind of stuff. There are no roads to us. In the winter, we have a snowmobile trail. In the summer, this lake thaws and we can get a float plane in here. So it's a pretty awesome life. Thanks for watching.